Nebraskans will soon be able to gamble at state racetracks, and it appears they will also be able to wager on sports with one major caveat. 3 News Now reporter John Kipper tells us what restrictions will likely be in place after the Nebraska Unicameral advanced the bill today. was essential for many state senators. I didn't vote for gambling, but we're here to do our job and respect the will of the people. After the voters legalized gambling at racetracks last fall, it was on the legislature to make the rules, and they needed 33 votes, two thirds of the body, to do so. They got those votes Wednesday in a somewhat odd compromise. And I think it's the, the what we ultimately need to get this bill passed, to get everyone on the same page, those safeguards include not being able to use a phone app at a racetrack casino, and most notably, gamblers will not be able to wager on the Cornhuskers or Creighton Blue Jays when they're playing in the state of Nebraska, just when they're on the road outside of the state. Many don't like the idea. State Senator Adam Morfeld called it puritanical nonsense. Senator Tom Breesey said it will only hurt the state. It encourages Nebraskans to place illegal bets online or with those bookies, sends more tax dollars to Iowa, uh, enhances the profit of the Iowa casinos. But it did please senators who are hesitant on allowing gambling. Fix Senator thing. Mike Groney thinks he'll see less frankly. gambling advertisements because of the restrictions that they put in. And I don't want to bet on it. And I don't want to remind it all the time that somebody else is betting on it. I Senator Steve Lathrop, who spearheaded the this. compromise, which also included leveling the playing field for kino operators, says the restrictions are not perfect, but it was important they get the bill passed. Do I think it's a compelling thing to do? No, I don't. But we're making sausage here. And, and that's about counting votes. John Kipper, 3 News Now. The gambling bill will still need to be passed one more time and could potentially face a veto from Governor Ricketts.